Welcome to Engineering Visualization Channel. Today we are going to construct hyperbola by eccentricity method. So draw a hyperbola when the distance of its focus from its directrix is 50 mm and eccentricity is 3 by 2. Okay, eccentricity they have given. Okay, what is directrix uh, we are going to see here. So here uh, we draw one line. Okay, and we mark v C V F. Okay, it is nothing but the distance from the uh, curve or the hyperbola. Okay, uh, that's we called as a focus and C point we called as a directrix. Okay, when we are drawing a hyperbola, right? So it will be at a certain distance. Okay, as it is given in the question. Okay, 50 mm from the focus point. Okay, so that is what uh, shown in the diagram. Okay. And eccentricity given here it is 3 by 2. Okay, 3 by 2. If it is 3 by 2 means it is nothing but greater than 1. So greater than 1 means it is hyperbola. Okay. So you can see as we have shown in a simple diagram. Okay. The representation of it. Okay. The it is nothing but the C point uh, the vertical distance. What it is shown, it is nothing but directrix and the curve drawn, it is nothing but hyperbola. Okay. So in between that we have to draw the things here okay vf having a three parts we see two parts okay first i'll be drawing one horizontal line at certain distance okay and exactly perpendicular to this i'll be drawing the directrix okay i'll be mentioning this as a b and this is your c point now here uh, in the diagram we have to take 50 mm okay in the directrix and the focal point so i'll be dividing this line by five uh, five parts so each box will be of 10 mm so one centimeter it will be divided 50 mm means five centimeter okay so it has been uh, divided and now we are marking a point you can see vf by vc it is divided by three parts by two parts okay so you can mention this is the focus point and this is your v point where we exactly draw the hyperbola okay so vf it should be uh, sorry three parts and vc should be two parts okay so it has been named according to it and now at the point of v okay we will be drawing one vertical line at some distance okay okay now you take the compass measure the distance of vf and draw an arc till cutting this smaller vertical line So cut the arc. So touching this uh, vertical point, just draw an arc. So, so here at this point, we have to draw a line connecting the directrix. Okay, we should draw one random straight line passing through this point. With the help of the scale, draw a straight line. Okay, now you can see it is VF having three parts. I'll be extending by another one part. Okay, it is uh, three parts, right? So I'll be extending another one part means one mm. So VF having 30 mm means three, it is uh, three centimeter. So we'll be dividing it by four parts. So I'll be marking it. So one, two, three. So we've already divided. So marking it is easy. One, two, three, four, we have done. Now where exactly it has cutted, right? We will be drawing vertical lines. Okay, draw the vertical lines touching this angle line okay so at the point number one also you draw a vertical line at point number two also you draw the vertical line and at the point three also you have to draw one vertical line and at point number four also you need to draw the vertical line okay so now after this uh, we have to take the so this is your point 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash okay now measure the compass take the compass and measure the length from 1 to 1 dash using compass measure it and keeping at the point f focus point cut the arc on this 1 1 dash line okay above and below you need to cut it so later i'll extend that line okay again measure the length from 2 to 2 dash keep at the point of focal f point 
cut dark on this vertical line of 2 2 dash okay now measure uh, so it is exactly cutting uh, the at exactly at the 3 dash you can men cut the arc there only okay now measure the length from 4 to 4 dash okay cut the arc from f point above and below okay now we have to mention the namings here so the exactly cut points we mentioning p1 p1 dash p2 p2 dash p3 p3 dash p4 p4 dash okay now we have to connect all these points with the curve here okay initially i'll be connecting all these points uh, with a pencil later on i'll be connecting with the sketch okay so connect all these points with the curve here so try to join with the curve here so connect all these points with the curve Okay, you can subscribe to my channel, hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited. So now it has been connected with a curve here. Now we will be connecting the same with a sketch pen here so that uh, visibility can be improved here. So connect all this with a sketch pen. So here for uh, showing purpose, I am and doing with the sketch pen as you are solving the problem you try to do it in using the pencil only so connect all the points with a smooth curve okay so hyperbola it is uh, completed by eccentricity method now we have to draw the tangent and the normal Okay, as for from the problem, draw a tangent and normal to the hyperbola at a point 25 mm from the directrix. So, from the directrix, we have to measure a distance of 25 mm, that is 2.5 centimeter, and we have to move the scale vertically upward. And we have to see where exactly this point merge with that uh, hyperbola, and we have to mark that point. Okay, we have to mark this point. mark this point okay so you can mark this point as e okay now connect e point and that uh, f focus point with a straight line okay connect it okay now to that uh, focus point here we have to draw one perpendicular line okay perpendicular line so take the protractor and draw one perpendicular line here okay mark a perpendicular 90 degree point and draw the line till it touches the this directrix okay so this is nothing but your t point now we have to connect this t point with the e point draw a straight line passing through that so this is nothing but your tangent okay tangent so we will be mentioning t t dash okay perpendicular to this t t dash so we have to draw one line that is nothing but your normal line okay so i'll be placing the protractor at the e point and making this t t dash uh, merging with 180 degree 0 so exactly t t dash i'll be drawing one 90 degree point and drawing a line so that the normal line can be drawn here so so draw a line passing through it exactly perpendicular to the tangent this is nothing but n n dash okay so thank you all thank you for watching the video subscribe to my channel hit on the bell icon 
and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited thank you all thank you for watching